Hi One Church, I'm Lucy and I want to share a little something with you today. My lockdown has been a bit odd really because nothing much has changed for me on a day-to-day -day basis. My work is so busy, uh, my husband is out of work at the moment so he's at home homeschooling our children and that means I get to go into the office Monday to Friday just like normal. But I have loved seeing all the things in the news and on social media about people caring for others in their communities. Our church has reached out to show God's love in really practical and wonderful ways during lockdown. And then began my God wobble. I started to listen to that inner saboteur who was saying to me, while well, all these people were out doing awesome stuff for God, like making PPE, being a buddy for the vulnerable, out there raising money for charities, all I was doing was just going to work just sending the odd message to check in on someone, just doing my dad's shopping while he's at home shielding. And it was at that time church sent out an email asking for photos of key workers. I didn't send my photo in to be part of that montage they showed on a Sunday service because that little inner voice was telling me that I was not a proper key worker. Who am I to send my picture in? My God wobble had me feeling that I was not doing enough that I wasn't super mum teacher enough, that I was just not good enough for God. But God was so good and so patient, he knew how to break through. And he did, one day when I was praying. And I was praying and he showed me a picture of a white piece of paper. And on that white piece of paper came a little spot of colour just in the corner. And that little spot of colour that was me showing love to my dad when we did his shopping or to those people when I got in touch with them. And then this piece of paper started to fill up with different spots of colour. And that was all of the people doing all of the different things, showing God's love, being God's hands and feet in their communities. And that piece of paper filled up and all those colours blended together to make a really pretty picture. And God showed me that I was too busy focusing on comparing myself with others, that they were doing better things than me. And he showed me that I was part of a beautiful picture of love that he was painting over our community. But then that little voice said, well, you're not good enough at speaking. You're just not good enough at speaking to be able to share this thought with your church. Then God showed me the poor woman in the Gospels that just put two small coins into the offering. He showed me that Jesus didn't sit there comparing her to others saying, well, she didn't put a lot in, did she? In fact, he said the complete opposite. He said that she gave more because she gave all she had. I don't know about you, but it seems that sometimes I can listen to that inner voice easier than I can listen to what God is saying about me. Because I need to hear the real truth. And that means I need to spend more time with God, spend more time in his word to hear the real truth about what he says about me. He never says that I am just Lucy. You are never just you. The Bible tells you that you are lovely. You are chosen. You are special. You are loved. You are cared for. You are precious. You're forgiven. You are a new creation. You are family and you are his. That is just a tiny list of all the things that we should really be listening to. Everybody is doing life differently. Your experience of lockdown won't be the same as anyone else's. So we need to stop comparing. I'm uniquely me, you're uniquely you. Jesus never said, that you're just not enough. It doesn't matter how little we have to offer God if that's all we have, because he can do amazing things with it. 
a little drop of paint will form part of an amazing masterpiece. I just want you to keep reminding yourself that in Christ, you are always enough. Thank you.